Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a first impressions video um, on the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette. I know that Jeffree is controversial and I know that not everybody may love what he does. Um, I don't necessarily love what he does but I love the products that he comes out with um, and honestly I can't pass up because I live I live for these colors and I didn't even buy this palette so I didn't support him at all actually I might be a little bit by making this video but I mean these colors so he has a bunch of mattes in this palette which are really unique mattes this whole row through here are all mattes and then he's also got three other mattes on the top row I guess this is this is tough, technically the top row even though it's flipped upside down and then he's got really two pretty shimmery shades um, I have no idea what look I'm going to create with this but um, I decided I would just come on camera and do a little look and let you guys know um, what I think about the palette as a whole um, so let's just go ahead and jump in and let's get started all right, so I'm going to zoom you in, and usually I do voiceovers with this, but today I'm going to talk through it so that I can give you my opinions and what I think on this palette, like of this palette in general. Um, right now I'm going in with some primer, eyeshadow primer. This is Urban Decay Enigma. And the first thing I'm noticing right away with this palette is that there's no, like, neutral matte white shade like his old palette had um, so I'm going to dip into his best friend um, Kat Von D's palette because um, it's right here and I'm going to grab I'm gonna grab skull on um, this just matte white shade on a fluffy brush and just kind of set between the crease and my brow this is literally just what I had laying on my table so that's what I grabbed. Okay, so just a nice, sort of a nothing base. Um, so I'm looking at this palette. All of the colors are like screaming my name, but I think I'm gonna do something different and do like a two-toned eye. So the first, first color I'm going to go in with is Safe Word. So this kind of taupey neutral matte shade, and I'm going to, oh my, I dipped in really hard and there is a lot of kickback, um, a lot of kickback. So um, a little bit goes a really long way. And I'm going to run this color through my crease and just a little bit above. And since this is more neutral, I think this will work with what I'm wanting to do. I might get a little crazy on ya. Alright, so step one, complete. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this purple shade, Androgyny. And I'm just going to load up the fluffy brush. This one, that color wasn't didn't have as much kickback as the Safe Word color did. And this one... I'm going to run more through just the crease. Like so. This eye always wants to you see how I get those little like it drags. This eye is getting old. Alright, so there's that eye. I'm going to do, like I said, something a little weird, so I'm going to go in with Military next on the other eye. I haven't done a two-toned eye before, so that's the first time for everything, right? And I'm just placing that where I placed the androgyny color on the other eye. Oh, 
cool. All right, so I'm going to clean off the brush, and then I'm going to go in with Poison, which is right next to Military, the green color, and um, I'm going to use the same brush, but more of the tip of the brush, and I'm going to work that color into the outer corner. I like the way that these are blending. Um, they blend really nicely. And I love that these have more of like the deeper, like jewel toned mattes. I don't have a whole lot of colors like some of these. Like I don't have a color like Androgyny. Um, I lied, I thought that Fetish was a matte, but it does look like there's a little bit of a glow to it, that red color. Um, there is a little bit of like a kind of a sheen to it. Not bad though, so I'm going to use this to do the same thing that I did with the blue color on this side. Start to deepen it up. Alright, so next what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna take for no. I'm gonna take deja vu onto the inner corner of both eyes. I think that this will be really nice. And I always tend to take this color with my finger. Um, like any sort of shimmery shades, I feel like you get the best amount of um, color payoff and the least amount of fall out when you use your finger as opposed to a brush. I don't know, I just like the way that that applies the most. I don't know if this is the best call using this color on both because now I'm seeing that this is really orange. I probably should have used the um, frosting color, but eh, whatever. I mean, it doesn't look bad, it's just not what my little brain wanted. You know how like you get these like ideas in your head and then um, you don't execute them the way you wanted to? That's been my life in a nutshell lately with looks. Like I have this great idea in my head and then I execute it and I was like, um, yeah, no. Um, I'm actually going to try to wipe this one off and do something different. I don't mind this one, but I'm just gonna try something different, hold on much better this is exactly what it needed okay so i just flopped the um deja vu and frosting color on this eye so this is frosting on this side the um, more gold color and then deja vu is over here um and it's more of that like rusty orange color not that i didn't like deja vu on this eye too but i feel like as far as being warm tone and cool tone this better suits it and it gives it more of that contrast at the same time all right so i'm gonna dip back in to military that green color and just kind of brighten up and smoke out that green a little bit more and then same with androgyny just gonna pick up a little bit more of that color and do a nice soft blend so this is what I've got going on so far um, and then I am going to go back in with the pastel goth palette just really quickly and do a little bit of brow highlight and clean up with the skulls color again got going on so far all right next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take NYX slide on glide on stay on and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme shine eyeliner okay so I just bought this and I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it yet um, 
I didn't realize that it was a shine finish as opposed to a matte finish, which um, usually doesn't hold up as well on the waterline. I just needed a new black eyeliner. So I decided to give this one a try because it was buy one and get one 50% off at Ulta. So we shall see. I'm going in and what? Going in and lining my um, waterline and my tie line as well. And then I am going to go in with Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. And I'm going to make a wing. Okay, so my wing is complete on each side, so I'm going to go in and finish up the look. I'm going to take a pencil brush and the poison color, which is the blue color, on this side, and smudge out the black liner and kind of smoke out the under eye. And then taking our brush that we've been using and I'm going to dip just the tip into military and holding that brush upwards I'm just going to blend that color out as well so we have a nice smoky gradient and that matches the top and I'm going to take the red color fetish and do the same thing on the other side. So smoking out the black with the red color and then going in with our brush that we were blending with. For that side we're going to go into Androgyny and start working that color out. like so um there is very minimal fallout on the face to be honest um which i'm kind of surprised about i was expecting since when i dipped the brush in for it to just go poof, all over my face but that wasn't the case so that is pretty neat i am going to pop on some false lashes and i will be right back all right so lashes are on and i also touched up my eyebrows a little bit so for the final steps, I'm going to go in with Stila Diamond Dust. Um, this is a glitter eyeshadow that um, is super pigmented and I'm just going to dot that on either side on my inner corner just to, you know, bring up the glam a little bit. The lashes that I used, by the way, are Coco Lashes in the Style Goddess, and I got them off LadyMoss.com. And for the lips, I'm just going to touch up what I have on because I'm really liking this. It is um, a little NARS um, in their Velvet Lip Glide in the shade Bound. This is a really comfortable formula, and I'm just kind of doing a sheer wash of it. I don't want to do anything too heavy. Just to kind of get like the, I've got good lips on my own without overdrawing, even though I overdraw. And then I am also just going to add a little bit more highlight because I do have to flick away a little bit of fallout on my face. Not much, like I said, just a little bit. And I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. And I'm just going to take a little mix of Forever Young and Kitty Cat and top them cheekbones a little bit and then maybe just a little bit more through my nose and maybe just a hair on my cupid bow just for fun. Alright you guys and that completes this look. My final thoughts on the palette, I actually really like it. <laughs> it um, blended way better than I thought it was going to. I don't know, I didn't have the highest expectations just because any color that I've had in the past that are anywhere similar to 
a matte shade like this has just been so chalky and chunky and hard to blend but these blended beautifully um, as a whole I do recommend the palette um, if you are not a Jeffree fan then just keep moving on and that is it for this video thank you so much you guys for watching I really appreciate it and if you decide to recreate this look please tag me in it on Instagram I have all my social media linked below you can check me out on there um, also don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more of my lovely face and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!